this video is another one of the horse videos, and this one is about the grooming kit. So this is just a simple little beginner grooming kit that you can start off with, just simple little brushes that you're going to use, and they work very well and efficiently. So you might want, you're going to start off with a box or a bag to put it in. I have a bag currently. Um, I have a bag, and the boxes are nice too. So anyone that you prefer. So when you first start off taking your feeder lessons, you don't have to have a brushes because more than likely the barn will have brushes for you guys. So you want to start off with a curry comb, um, hoof pick, hoof pick with a brush, preferred, recommended brush, get the brush size, um, dandy brush or hard brush, um, soft brush, yeah, um, and then a face brush and a sponge if needed to if you're out in the summer. So when you start off when you're grooming a horse, um, some people like to do the hoof pick first. Sometimes people will do the hoof pick first before they ride to check out the horse's hoof to see if there's anything wrong with them before they go into the whole grooming process and then find out that the horse is injured. But still, there's no problem with grooming horses. And then find out the horse is injured and they can't ride them. So, some people will start off with the hoof pick to check the horse's hooves inspection. And also, grooming is a really good way to inspect the horse, look for injuries and stuff. So, yeah, and it's enjoyable for the horse and for the human. So, well, most humans. Yeah, most humans. I like it. I like it too. And Leah does not think of work. Yeah. yeah, Leah does not like work. So, um, yeah, so the curry comb. So, either start off with the hook pick or the curry comb. And. So curry comb, there are a couple different kinds. There's this kind right here. I like these little rubbery ones. You know, they're flexible. And um, there's there's some of them like this. They're hard Plastic. and plasticky. And then there's metal. Yeah, and then there's metal ones. Um, yeah. So you want to start off with the curry comb first, going in circles. Put your hand in here. Go in circles, counterclockwise or Wait, this is counterclockwise and then clockwise. Yeah, you know. Looking at the car wash. <laughs> yeah. So then you do the curry comb. Go everywhere. Um, then you go, when you use the curry comb, you want to go to the meaty part of their arms. Like, go down, and then when it starts getting really bony, and then, like, skin and bones, don't kind of curry there, because that can hurt them. You know, you can go hard, like, medium hard when you curry comb. When you use the curry comb, like they have really thick skin, so don't be afraid to like get in there. Not too hard though. Yeah. Just be like gentle but tough. Mhm. Mm so then you have this dandy brush or hard brush, also on that. So this will get off all the dirt that you brought up with the curry comb. You want to use like quick little flicks. Start off from the neck down to the buttocks. Yes. So you want to make sure that you get underneath the tummy, get where the girth is going to be because the girth is the thing that goes around the belly to hold on the saddle. So yeah, you want to make sure that you kind of brush underneath the stomach too. Get the legs, like, like you said, stop at the meaty part because this is the part where you do not, this will actually hurt them if you go farther and really hard. So, you know, go medium hard with these, like, you know, they have really thick skin, you know, don't go too hard and don't go too light, you know. And then, so after you, and don't brush the face with this. Never brush the face with this. This hurts, like, it hurts my heart. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> then you're going to want to have a soft brush. The soft brush will just smooth out the coat after you use this, this hard brush. So you do long strokes with this, long strokes, you know, this will shine up the coat, you know, it makes Kerala really shiny, yeah, and see, every horse, you know, gets pretty shiny, so, yeah, this will just get the ex excess dirt, and you can go on the legs with this one, so nice and smooth on the legs, you know, not too hard, not too soft, you get the point, 
I'll show you about how hard actually. So this is a horse. I'll show you. Like you'll see about like this hard. Push in actually. I'm pushing in. See how like it went in. The bristles went out. Yeah, it kind of feels good to them. You can push pretty hard. So then this is a face brush. Really soft. You want to get a soft face brush. Face brush. And you want to brush out the face with this. And you don't want to get um, the dust in their eyes. Try not to do that. Um, so cover up the eyes like this. So you can cover up the eyes and go on the top like this. Some horses will tend to move around a lot, move their head around. So you can just hold their halter and brush their face. And some horses do not like their ears being touched. So be careful when you go around the ears and make sure that you know if the horse does not like the ears being touched. Because my horse that I ride Karaba, he does not like his ears being touched at all. He like moves his head around. Like, yeah, so some horses are just born naturally, and then some of them are just pretty much rescues that might have been hurt around the ears. So like I said, I'm going to go back to the hoof pick right now. So there is something called the frog. So the frog is like a little triangle in the middle of the horse's hoof. So you kind of pick out throughout that line, and that's one of the most sensitive parts of the horse's hoof. So you have to be pretty careful not to like jam it into there, but you know, go a good, pretty decent amount. So, there's a saying that I like to say, when in doubt, brush it out. So, what that means is, let's say if there's a part of the hoof, if you're not sure if that's actually part of the hoof, or if it's a piece of dirt, when in doubt, you know, just try to brush it out. You know, I can push pretty hard with this. See how it's kind of pushed in? It's all kind of, you know. So, this is why the brushes are important. Like, if you have one with no brush, like, you're not going to be able to brush it out so yeah so this is just a little beginner kind of kit like once you get some more advanced complex i have a lot more brushes in my gimme kit because once you start doing shows and stuff so yeah this is just it's not mandatory but maybe like when you're on your first or second month you can get the screaming kit so yeah um i hope oh one more thing guys when you go to each different horse it is suggested that you should uh brush or clean your brushes when um when you groom a different horse like especially if one of them might be feeling a little sick because you don't want to transfer any infections or diseases not really diseases but <laughs> infections or sicknesses to a different horse so you know your instructor or a barn helper will help you with 